Hey, good morning, everybody. Lee Brower here, and welcome to this week's edition of Meaningful Monday. I am grateful to be here, and I am glad to be here. Wind versus words. What is similar between those two words? I want you to think about it. Wind can be both creative and destructive at the same time. It all depends on how you harness it. It can destroy homes, trees, buildings, or it can create power, or it can push a sailboat across the ocean. Words are very similar. Just like the wind, they're everywhere, and we use them every day. It's around us every day, and who do we use it with the most? We talk to others, yes. We listen to words, yes. But what we say to ourselves is who we talk to the most. That's where most of the words go. Well, how important are the words that we put in here? You know, um, think of your mind, your, think of your, of your subconscious mind as a flower pot with the richest soil in the world. And in it, we're gonna put two seeds. We're gonna put a tansy seed, which will kill you. And we're gonna put an apple seed, which will give you life. Does the, does the pot, does the soil care? Which seed, you, does the soil make a decision? Does it say, don't put nutrients to that seed, it'll kill you. Just put it to this seed, it'll make you better. And our subconscious mind is much identically the same way. When thoughts come into it, or things that we see or hear come into it, it nourishes those. So our guard to our subconscious mind is our conscious mind. And if we can be conscious about what we're doing, Maybe we can control the wind or we can control the words. Words put pictures in your mind. Pictures in your mind impact how you feel. How you feel impacts what you do. And what you habitually do becomes or impacts your destiny. What amazes me is that so many people, without realizing it, use this power to talk themselves into choices that may be harmful for themselves in the long run, even if they see maybe temporary happiness. They may use words to give power to their inner critic, words that can poison, destroying their own joy and growth before they even have a chance to get started. Look, we are all experts in mental training. We don't know it. But I think it was uh, William George Jordan that said, life is all about the conscious training of the mind and body to respond unconsciously. Okay? In alignment with those things that you value most. So we practice it every day with our thoughts. Our brains can't distinguish between what is real and imagined. So if we can just visualize Good things, not bad things. You know, do you ever worry? Worrying is a form of negative visualization that helps create the scenario you are happening in your mind or you see happening in your mind. The hard choice, but the one that is best for us in the long run, is to use our words to put beneficial pictures in our mind. We can do it. I am good. I am, I am going to learn from this. There's nothing in this life that I can't learn from. This is happening to me. Not, this is happening for me, not to me. Those are beneficial words that we can put into it. Might sound crazy at first, but using beneficial and constructive self-talk instead of giving power to our inner critic is one of the most formidable strategies possible to use towards reaching our own potential. You may not be able to stop negative thoughts or your inner critic from screaming at you. I have a saying that you can't keep a bird from landing on your head, but you can keep it from making a nest there. So your conscious mind is the one that knocks that nest off and it replaces it with positive thoughts. You don't have to believe that screaming or that negative thoughts coming from that visualization. You can definitely talk to yourself rather than just listening to the negativity. So talk to yourself. Be the wind that powers. Use the words that empowers you. And just like the wind, you can be creative rather than just destructive. Have a meaningful week. I look forward to talking to you next week. Bye-bye.